This is question number 2 of J Main 2016. If you are looking for a detailed explanation, please check the description. I have given a link where I have solved uh, this question in greater detail. Here I will try to show you how you can solve this question in a very short time without going through all the calculations. So the question is a particle is of mass m is moving along the side of a square of side a with a uniform speed v in the xy plane as shown in the figure. Which of the following statements is false for the angular momentum l about the origin? Now I would rely on this formula l is equal to m r v sin theta this one and I would immediately start considering the options. So the options are m v which is the same as in the formula and then r upon root 2 times k. So r upon root 2 root 2 comes from sine of 45 I will see that the vector r makes an angle of 45 with the x-axis and the motion direction of motion is also uh, parallel to x-axis so sine of 45 will be upon root 2 and then m v r is the length given length of vector r so uh, this option uh, this this expression seems to be correct but I'm looking for a false option so I will not check this so I'll move on to the option number 3 when the particle is moving from b to c when the particle is moving from b to c the length of vector r will be this much now this is the diagonal of square with side a and I know that the diagonal is equal to root 2 times side so it will be root 2a so this, in this case mv and then r upon root 2 plus a if I take the LCM it's nothing but r plus root 2 times a that's the length of the uh, r vector and then upon root 2 comes from sine 45 which is 1 upon root 2 and then the, the vector k so this option also is correct there's no problem vector k I can use the right hand rule to curl my fingers in the direction of motion of uh, this uh, this uh, particle and that means that the thumb will point upward in the direction of z-axis so a unit vector k is correct in both the cases now let me move on to the second option c to d when the particle moves from c to d the r vector will be something like this and the length of r vector is given as r minus root 2 times a if you take the LCM here upon root 2 the length of vector r itself is this much r minus root 2 times a will be somewhere here let's say so it can never be this this length this length can never be achieved using this expression r upon root 2 minus a so I immediately know that this option cannot be correct so I'm they, they said to look for false option so I will check this this is definitely false it can never be true and then the first option I immediately I will notice the negative sign right here so the negative sign cannot be the case if all other are positive then and I know that the angular momentum of a particle moving in a particular direction anti-clockwise will always point upwards so it can never point downwards it cannot be negative so this is a false option so I will not look further and then I'll check this because this these these two are, are false options the other two are correct and the way I found that the r they, they are considering the r vector at the end point of uh, the movement of particles so I relied on on their options to to check to check that so from d to a for example d to a they said that the length of vector is r so that's why I am checking always checking the length of vector at the end point of the line in in each option so that's how yeah, you solve it without putting too much time into this question and if you like this video please click on the like button share and subscribe to my channel uh, and and I hope this helps you but if you want a detailed explanation you can check my other video on this question on how to